Hey everybody, Jamie Gilchrist here, Autodesk Manufacturing Tech Marketing, uh, and I have with me a very special guest, Mr. Keith Perrin, who is a senior industry manager for consumer products. Hi Jamie, how's it going? Good, how are you doing Keith? Not bad, not bad. So we want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, the 2011 release, which just hit the shelves not too, too long ago. and. Uh, so we're going to show you this video and talk to you a little bit about uh, about what you're seeing here today. So you know, if if any of you uh, have been skeptical about Autodesk as uh, servicing the consumer products industry, I think uh, I think it's well worth a second look now. Uh, we've got some great tools and capabilities that cover everything from industrial design all the way through to your factory layout and, and final production. Uh, that's true. You know, Jamie, for the past couple of years. Uh, our development team have uh, been actively working on a number of key um, uh, capabilities that are now reaching the marketplace. It's a very exciting time. You know, when you look at uh, the way in which digital prototyping today can help uh, customers design, manufacture and market some of their products, it really seems some revolutionary things start to happen. There's some incredible things we're doing with our software today that frankly haven't been done in our industry before. And that's really setting us apart. It really deserves a good look from uh, our customers and, and frankly prospects alike. Yeah, if you're you know if you're if you're a prospect or if you have a customer who's who's really focused on on industrial design but also has to do engineering, I mean we've got great collaboration between our industrial design alias tools um, and into our manufacturing and engineering tool Inventor. Uh, there's just basically the, the type of uh, integration that I haven't seen uh, throughout my career. That's certainly very true. And what's more, we're, we're not just integrating these capabilities together like some, some other companies have done in the past. We're actually providing a whole level of tools now, a whole suite of capabilities for industrial and conceptual design. I mean, this world-leading capabilities we have for an event, uh, for Alias, for example, uh, are starting to be introduced and start to be uh, uh, put through uh, some of our other products. Uh, AutoCAD now has surfacing capabilities. We've got those guys covered. We've got some uh, conceptual design tools now in Inventor starting to take all of that alias magic and start to drive it so that more people can get hold of it. And that's going to make a tremendous impact in our customers' ability to you know, come up with those creative designs and drive them out there to the marketplace. Really exciting stuff. It's yep. going to help customers sell more. Yep, yep. And, and you know, when you start talking about simulation, uh, the integration of, uh, that we've done with Moldflow into Inventor, and then the, the Moldflow standalone products as well. So if you're designing plastic parts and you really need to know what your part's going to look like, how it's going to behave, uh, prior to, to committing to cutting steel, uh, you know we've got the, the tools to help you do that. Yeah, that's really true. In fact, that's a really good example of how we're integrating these tools much deeper than anybody else has done before. You know, when you look at uh, how Moldflow and Showcase work together, for example, you know that's something that's not been done in our industry. That ability for Moldflow to kick out material properties and detail uh, like sink marks and stuff to uh, Showcase uh, allows people to see what their parts are really going to look like, not just some you know, idealistic derivation of it. It's really what it's going to look like. Yeah, I, I can speak from experience. When I was working as an industrial designer, I would have loved to have a tool like that to where I could actually see on screen where, you know, sink marks are going to happen or where we need to make slight variations to the design to, to really make it a, a great manufactured part. Yeah, that's really cool. Because, I mean, Moldflow today enjoys a reputation amongst our customers for consumer products, you know, consumer durables, consumer electronics and whatnot that's really second to none. And the way we're integrating that technology into the rest of our products is going to enable so many more people to start using it and driving it. I think it's really valuable. And it's not going to just be the case for Molfo, of course. We're looking at Algor doing the same thing there. So mm -hmm. really some spectacular stuff going on there. Yep, yep. And, you know, further there is being able to take your, your, your designs that you've done, say, an inventor, and, and go right into tooling and doing your tooling manufacturing and start doing your development of, of these parts in parallel with engineering development. So you're not spending a lot of time you know, waiting till the end of your engineering development to go right into tooling, and then waiting for the end of tooling development to start going into, into further manufacturing planning. Actually, that's a great, great, uh, a great point there. You know, when I look at Inventor today, I see something quite exciting. You know, a couple of years ago, Inventor was compared to you know, solid aid, solid works, tools like that. Um, today, with the breadth of capabilities we've got in Inventor, really it should be compared and is more often being compared to Pro Engineer or NX or Katia. In fact, in that tooling example, we actually beat Pro Engineer in a recent benchmark, orders of magnitude faster and more effective than what has been done in the past. And that's a tool that's you know, fairly well recognized out there as being a leader. Well, we're beating them. So, there you have it. There's a really brief overview uh, of our 2011 digital prototyping tools. 
if, uh, if you want to see more, go to www.autodesk.com and check it out. And you know, if you haven't considered Autodesk as a, as a serious contender in the consumer products world, uh, I think it's worth a second look these days. Keith, thanks for your time. I know you're a busy man, so thanks everybody. Uh -huh. Stop laughing, I can start. I'm not laughing, who's laughing? <laughs> <laughs>